Do you hesitate to cut out hair in Photoshop? I know I used to always try and avoid it. Not until I found this technique, which has made it a lot more helpful for me to cut out hair and it actually made it fun. And I want to take you through the process of this technique, going through three examples, the models having curly hair or wavy hair to crazy hair, curly, curly crazy hair in the wind. So let's get started. Let's open Photoshop. No, no, no. Well, we have Photoshop open here. And here's the first example. The first example with a woman who has wavy hair. So what you're gonna to wanna to do first here is duplicate the image. Duplicate, control, duplicate uh, is control J. And then we're gonna go up to select and select and mask. And then when in here, uh, you're wanna to go to, you're gonna to wanna to change some parameters. Uh, we're gonna to go to view and yes, go to overlay, click overlay and boost, make sure that the transparency is at hundred. And then we're gonna select subject and this is gonna cut out the image. And there you go. Uh, and it looks like it did a pretty good job already, but we're gonna to have to paint out parts of the background that are still in between the strands of hair. So let's do that. And we're gonna go down to the, we're gonna to go to the toolbar on the left and press uh, Refine Edge Tool. And we're just gonna paint the parts of the background that we wanna take out. And if you wanna scale the brush up or down, uh, to scale it down, you're gonna go to the left bracket on the keyboard to scale down and scale up is the right bracket. All right. Okay, and there you go. Next step is we're gonna go down to output settings and decontaminate colors. Press okay. Okay, I'm gonna add a black layer underneath just to see what a different background would look like. And it looks like it did a pretty good job. There are some parts that we can work on, but let's get to the next example and see how this goes for this one. So this girl's hair has more strands of, little strands of hair. Uh, same steps, we'll go duplicate, select mask. Uh, the parameters here are saved, so pretty much all we have to do is select subject. Okay, and it looks like it did a pretty good job, but we can paint parts of the background out and push the strands of hair forward. Okay, so we're gonna go to Refine Edge Tool, Refine Edge Brush Tool, and paint these out. Paint the background out. All right, continuing on. Okay. Uh, okay, there you go. And what else? Looks like it's pretty good. Okay. And, and then decontaminate colors. Press OK. Let's see what this looks like. A different color background. White. All right, there you go. Looks like it did a good job here as well. And now let's go to the last image, which looks like it'd be a lot more challenging, but knowing this technique, it's no problem. Okay, this one is gonna be pretty crazy, or it looks crazy, but I have faith that this is gonna work. So let's duplicate the layer, Control J to duplicate. Let's go to select, select and mask. The parameters are set to overlay and with the opacity at 100. So we're gonna go to select subject. Okay, looks pretty good already. There are some parts of the background here that we can paint out here too. So let's go to refine edge brush, refine edge brush tool.
Let's uh, scale the brush up uh, the right bracket on the keyboard. And to scale the brush down, uh, left bracket. All right, looks good. Okay, now let's go down to decontaminate colors. Uh, go down to output settings and decontaminate colors. All right, let's see how this turned out. Press OK. Let's add a layer. Let's say a white layer to add contrast. See the contrast between the hair and the background. And there you go, looks pretty good. Again, more of the background that we could paint out, but this looks pretty good. So after learning this technique, I hope that you feel more comfortable with cutting hair out in Photoshop. I know that after I learned this technique, it's helped me out a lot and now it's just fun to cut out hair. And I just experiment to see what kind of hair I would be able to cut out. Uh, now head sh cutting out headshots isn't so intimidating when they have uh, crazy ass hair. But yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you there.